Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome everybody. A quick little turn in here. I'm just going to rough this down with me roughing gouge. In the meantime, I'll just say a quick thank you to Jim and Christine, Bruce Beanie and Rocky Bosage for the coffees. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Right, I'm just using a square carbide to put a tenon on the end here, just so I can put it into my chuck. There you go, that's done. I'll bring you back. There you go, you're <laughs> back. Right, so I'm just going to uh, clean up the end with my square carbide, and now I'm gonna drill the end. So you'll see what this is as I go along. Uh, and like I say, just making a bit of money from wood that you find, really. Just some tree branches. These are some bits of cherry I found. This is still wet. Some of it's cracked, some of it hasn't. It doesn't really matter because it hasn't cost me a penny to to use it. So it's all free wood. So I've just used a 38 mil drill bit there. That's the size of the tea lights that I have. So that's what I use. So I've just turned my speed back up. I'm just going to use a spindle gouge on this one. I've done a bit of skew work on the last video. I'm going to use my spindle gouge on this one. And yes, just to upset a few people, this is going to be a snowman. Yay! <laughs> a tea light holding snowman. And basically, guys, if you're going to make them up for Christmas, you've got to be making them now. Before now, really, but get making them. Because I think this is going to be a good craft fair seller this year. I feel I'm going to be making lots of these to go, to go, and uh, yeah, quick and simple to make, very easy. Literally, I mean, I've I've put this video at two times because, as I said, a lot of people don't seem to like long videos. Um, but literally, these things are like 10, 15 minutes to make. If you get all your wood prepared, you can knock loads of them out in a day. Sell them cheap enough, you make a lot of money. All from free wood. Can't moan at that. I say when I do the heads of them, I don't try to do them like a ball because, you know, you've got to remember the, the pointy bit of the head is inside the hat. So the hat, the hat would normally rest on your ears, wouldn't it? So I do find sometimes when I see people when they've done snowmen, they do like a ball shaped head and sit a little hat on it. It looks like so a pimple on an elephant's ass, really. <laughs> Not, not that I'd say anything about it, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just just an observation. There we go, just getting a nice... Mate, try and get as clean a finish as you can. It it, it saves on your, your sand and, and you won't get tear out. If you get a bit of tear out, you know, it's nothing worse when you put all your finish on and you look and it, it shows it up because you didn't quite get it out of the sanding. So it's best if you don't put it there in the first place. And like I say, if you keep on the bevel, you'll never get a catch. And you'll you'll never get torn grain. You must always be on your bevel. And there we go. That's most of the turning done. I'll do a little bit for the top on the inside. I'll bring you around so you can have a look. I know you'll like to be nosy and see. <laughs> so just to get rid of that little dibble inside. I don't always bother because if it's going to have a tea light in there, well, what does it matter? But, you know, people are always fussy, aren't they? So, remove that little dibble. Just come in and clean this edge up. So, bevel, roll it, cut. There you go. Done. I say, this is a bit wet, this wood. I'm mainly do using this, as I say, for demonstrations. It's going to take a long time for all this cherry to dry out. Some of it, I, the tea light holder I did the other day, I, I didn't bother going overboard with sanding or anything because I said it was going to crack to pieces it hasn't got a single crack on it at the moment so you know you just never know do you like I say this is literally just to give people an idea of things to turn you know if you're into doing your little craft fairs and stuff like that then this is going to be a good Christmas craft fair seller I think this is going to be a good one this winter Get making them, I say. I like these ones. Yeah. 
There you go, a little bit of sanding. I'm only using the one grit, 180 grit, that's all I'm using. There you go, that's the sanding done. And now, yeah, I'm going to use my shellac. Goes on well, seals it all up. It might actually help to slow down the drying process and stop it from actually cracking. So, because it does actually seal. So, yeah, it could be all right. Yeah, it'll either work or it won't work. If it cracks, it doesn't matter. I'll just throw it away. It doesn't bother me, really. It's the fun of turning, I like. And I will turn a nose for it. But after, you've all seen the nose. Otherwise, it's going to make the video a bit long. But I'll just drill a little hole and I'll just turn a load of noses. And then I'll, I'll just pop a little nose in there. little carrot-shaped nose. But there you go, look at that fit. Even on this cherry, with hardly any sand in, look at that finish. And it's wet cherry as well. Yeah, now look at that finish I'll get on there. Yeah, like I say, I got that off to a T now. I got that dead right, that mix, and I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'm not one of these for slowing down the lathe all the time. Just using my parting tool to pop. I'm not going to pop right through this because of the, the cherry. It will probably tear and leave a little hole at the bottom. So I go right down to a little bit, and then I'm just going to cut that off with a saw. There you go. You can see that finish on that. Look at that. Beautiful. There we go. I'm going to put my sanding disc on. I was actually going to cut it off with the skew. I took a little bit off and I thought, nah, bugger that. That's too hard. much like hard work, isn't it? I'll sand it <laughs> off. <laughs> so on goes my sanding disc. Quick little sand and it's done. There we go, guys, and I'll should sure put some finish on that after. As I said, I don't know whether I'm keeping this or doing anything with it. It's literally for the just the video, just for a bit of entertainment, really. And this just to give all those something to write in about. <laughs> you know, I know I like to give you something to complain about. So I'm going to say bye, guys. Yeah, there we go. Toodle pip, guys. <laughs>